Christina and Jillian with the Lifestyle Medicine Center. We are here making a Mediterranean meal. Um, so we are going to make a tzatziki sauce, a tabbouleh with quinoa, and we're also going to make some falafel. And then at the end we'll kind of build a, a little Mediterranean bowl for everyone. So we'll go ahead and get started with our tzatziki. Okay, so in this bowl, I'm, I should have showed this on camera, but I have half of a cup of grated cucumber. So all I did was I took half of a cucumber, grated it, and then I um, put it in some paper towels and I wrung it out so that it was really dry and I got this um, nice consistency. So to that bowl, I am going to add three cloves of garlic. I'm going to do a fourth of a cup of chopped dill, and this is fresh dill. You can find this in the produce section at the grocery store. Um, I'm going to do a pinch of salt and pepper. You don't have to add the salt if you don't want. I'm going to add one and a half cups of unsweetened plain coconut milk yogurt. And it is important to make sure you find the unsweetened versus just the plain. Yes, do not uh, get the blue of the So Delicious brand because it's plain but it's not unsweetened and I used it last time and it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think to look at the sugar content. I didn't realize that there was an unsweetened and a sweetened plain. Okay, and then we are going to Put the juice of one lemon in. Make sure you don't let the seeds get in there like I just did. <laughs> and we did find um, the So Delicious, the unsweetened was actually at Natural Grocers. They don't have it at HEB. I'm not sure about Albertsons, but they do have it at Natural Grocers. So it's something you can find locally. Okay, was that everything I was putting in there? I believe so. So we're just going to stir it up. And there we go. So while we do the rest of our items, I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator to chill. Um, it's best if you chill it for 30 minutes or so before serving, just so all the flavors can come together. All right, now we're going to move on to our tabbouleh. Um, so we've got some quinoa that we already cooked. I'm just going to throw it in our bowl. We're going to add some parsley, chopped parsley, some tomatoes. You can chop these up a little bit finer. We just kind of did ours in half just because we're using them for another thing later. And then our onion, garlic, garlic. You really can't go wrong here. I mean, you could kind of are we squeezing the lemon? On top? Where you're gonna squeeze the whole lemon on top. Um, you could add the cucumber. You could add the red bell pepper if you want. Um, it's really up to you. These are good lemons. Yeah. <laughs> you did a good job picking them out. <laughs> All right. If you'd like to add a little bit of salt, you can do that, or your, your no salt oh, substitute. And then honestly, this is going to get more flavor the longer it sits, so this would be something better to prepare the night before you're going to serve it. And feel free to adjust your flavors, add a little bit more lemon, a little bit less lemon, add some balsamic vinegar, um, and you're really uh, free to do whatever you want with it. You could put chickpeas in it, you know, again. This is just a nice refreshing thing to add to your dinner. Get your protein with your quinoa. All right, here we go. Here is our tabbouleh. And now we will move on to our falafel. Okay, so now we are going to make our falafel. It's pretty easy. We've had two cups of dried chickpeas soaking overnight in water. Um, it, they do expand a lot, so you are going to have to add more water over um, the course that they soak. Make sure to do this step rather than getting canned chickpeas because it tastes so much better and the texture is better. 
So we are going to start by adding two cups of those. Okay. All right. And now we're going to do a cup of parsley. And one cup of onion, three cloves of garlic, okay, two tablespoons of flour, and with this one you can kind of play around with the amounts. Um, depending on how long your chickpeas have soaked, that can make a difference as well. If you're Mixture feels a little wet whenever you go to put it together, then just add a little bit more flour and it'll help it hold together. And then we have uh, cumin, two teaspoons of cumin. And two teaspoons of coriander. A half a teaspoon of cayenne. And if you need a little bit of your salt substitute or salt. We're just blending that all up. No women or anything like that in there? Okay, great. We're going to go ahead and roll our uh, falafel into balls, kind of, sort of. So whenever you're blending this, you want to make sure that some of it's a little bit pasty, but there is some grit to it because that's going to give you your texture. Um, but the paste helps it hold together. So um, as you experiment, you'll kind of get more familiar with what you want it to look like. But I am just going to take it and form it into, some people like balls, some people like little patties. I prefer the little patties. Um, so just mold it and then stick it. I use a silicone baking mat. Um, I've done them in the air fryer before. I just prefer the baking mat because I can do more at one time. Uh, my air fryer, I use my Instant Pot and it's not um, very big. So we're just going to continue to put these on our pan and then we are going to put them in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes just until they're a nice golden brown and crispy on the outside. So now we are going to go ahead and build our Mediterranean bowl. So we're just going to take some of the tabbouleh and we're going to stick it at the bottom of the bowl. And this is where you can get creative. We are going to take our cooked falafel, we pull them out of the oven, they're slightly crispy. Uh, these are also great to freeze, so if you want to make them ahead for another meal, it's great to have during the week to pull out. Um, you can stick these in a pita and have them as a sandwich. You can do a bowl like this. You can just eat them by themselves. They're really, really versatile, and they're packed full of protein with all those chickpeas. So we're going to add some cucumber, some bell pepper, some tomatoes. Um, we will stick a little bit more of our parsley in there. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and put some of our tzatziki on top. And there you go, our Mediterranean bowl. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this here so I can get a shot of it. You can throw some um, Kalamata olives on top, that would be really good. Um, and this is just a great nutrient-dense way to stay full. This is going to last you all day long. Um, and get you in lots of protein and lots of fiber. So, um, as always, thank you so much for joining us. You can ask any questions you have below in the comment section. You can email me at jillian.tate at midlandhealth.org or you can call us at 221-LIFE or 221-5433. Thank you so much. We hope to hear from you soon. Bye. Bye.